Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Rebecca with Learning Together by Grace. And in this video, we are going to do a thrift store fashion haul. And you guys are gonna see me model some of the things that I got from there. Are you guys ready? I am, let's go. Before we get started, I just want to talk about what we think with staying home as homemakers and having just one income for your household is that we have to skim on fashion. But let me tell you something that is far from true because your girl here, she likes fashion, okay? <laughs> I am what I considered a homemaking fashionista. Now, I don't always dress up. However, when I do dress up, I really like good quality clothes. I like to look presentable and fashionable. I like pops of color. I like statement pieces, but I also like traditional things that will transcend the test of time. So I have things in my closet from 15 years ago that are still working for me today. Now, sometimes those items, they may lose their color, they may lose their stretch, or maybe they just no longer fit you because, well, maybe you've had children and uh, maybe you've gained some weight or, you know, maybe the opposite, maybe you lost weight. Who knows? There's a plethora of things. Or maybe you don't even like that item any longer. I'm going to show you how you can affordably put a wardrobe together that fits your current style. All right, you guys, I am starting off with my first thrift haul. I did two thrift store hauls. This first item is a denim shirt. It's Morona, so that is a Target brand. I got this for $3.99 and it barely looks worn. I know it's wrinkly, but it's barely worn. All right, next up is this cute top that I found. I am trying to wear more yellow, you guys. I have just recently started, maybe like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, wearing yellow, but I found this cute shirt for $3.99. Next up, you guys, I have been looking for a lot of button-up blouses. So this was one that I saw in this beautiful color. It was marked half off for $2.49. And then I found this white button-up shirt, and this one was for $2.49 as well. I've been wanting a white button-up shirt. This is not what I had in mind, but nonetheless, it worked. It drew my attention. All right, next up, you all, is this cute dress. I got this dress for $9.99, and it literally fits me perfectly <laughs> that was it was like a last minute i'm about to go to the register i found something and i'm snagging it up so that's that next up is this cute jacket that i found you guys i thought this was adorable and i got it for 4.99 this is another target brand jacket my husband has a jacket similar to this it has sleeves and i figured hey if we want to match one day there you go next up you guys i know it's springtime it's about to be summer in a couple of months but i saw this jacket and i was like i am not passing it up it was half off for $4.99. And I said, you know what? That is a piece that I can literally hold on to for years and I can put pants with it, skirts, you name it. And I was like, I am getting it too cute. All right, next up are my pants. So I have been needing some black slacks. I have not had black slacks for a couple of years now. These are $3.99. I have never heard of this brand before, but let me tell y'all something. This snatches my waist. <laughs> so There is no bulging when I wear this. So I'm gonna show you guys, you're gonna see how it looks like on me. All right, next up, another pair of black pants. These were $4.99. I don't know the brand. Joe B, I've never heard of them before. But nonetheless, these are some linen type pants. First off, you guys, I just wanna show you this cute little detail. It has a slit. I love details like this. 
<laughs> but I have been trying to find more linen pants that I can wear during the spring and summer because a lot of times I'll wear skirts, dresses, or shorts, but I've been wanting to wear some pants as a part of my wardrobe. Now for my second thrift store haul, I found this adorable skirt for half off for, for $3.49. Um, jeans by Buffalo. I think that's a name brand. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Honestly, I don't really care about name brands. <laughs> I just go with what looks cute and what looks quality. But you guys, look at this. Look at this detail on this skirt. I love things like this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can wear that to church. I can wear it as a date night skirt. You name it. Okay, lastly, you all, I found these pants for $2.99. They are St. John's Bay pants, and they are another linen pair of pants. You guys, I couldn't forget about the shoes. This came from my first haul. These are a New Day, a Target brand. They were $9.99. And so, yes, I'm definitely going to clean those off, so don't worry about that. I got you. <laughs> but, yeah, they were $9.99 and barely worn with the exception of it looked like someone went through the mud with these. So, there's that. All right, my second pair of shoes were these colorful shoes. They are so spring and summer ready. They are wedges. They were $14.99, and I was like, I'm getting them because they were comfortable and just stylish. All right, y'all, my last pair. These were brand spanking new. They were from Target, um, a new day, originally $34.99. I got them for $12.99. Are y'all ready to get to the fashion show? All right, let's go. So I'm starting off by pairing the button-up denim shirt with these linen pants, as well as the red shoes that I got from the thrift store. So this entire outfit is a thrift haul. I really like how this outfit makes me look slender and it was very comfortable. Next up, I decided to change into some shorts that were similar to those pants and added some wedges that I already had in my closet that were denim, and I thought this came together nicely. Sticking with that same denim shirt, I had some color block cutoff shorts that I wanted to add to this look with some tennis shoes, and I thought that this would be perfect for taking my children to the park. <music> Lastly, I decided to add some white shorts and some sandals and a red headband, and I thought of the 4th of June lie I really like this outfit and this top is so versatile next up I am putting on my full linen outfit this would be a cute outfit to go out on a date with my husband you guys you see those slits on the side I love them another cool detail about these pants is that they have this cute little ruffle around the waistline and it's perfect for tucking in your shirt. So I did that here. I really like this outfit. It's comfortable, it's cool, and it makes me look good. You guys, this dress, I was so loving the movement in the dress. It made me want to dance. I just thought, let me just keep moving. As you can see here, <laughs> I feel like a schoolgirl in this dress in a good way though. And I love how flowy and breezy it is. I love how the buttons literally go from top to bottom so your split can be as high or as low as you want it to be. And I just paired it with some shoes that were already in my closet. Next up, we have the yellow and white striped top. I just paired it with those cute, colorful wedges that I got from the thrift store, along with some white shorts that I already had in my closet. I really like this outfit. I really like the cut of the shirt and the sleeves. It was very comfortable. I wasn't sure if it would be, but once I got it on, I really enjoyed it. All 
right here. I just switched out my shoes. I wanted to be able to take it from a fun, cute little brunch outfit to a day in the park. Next up is that cute little jacket. I paired it with a yellow dress that I had in my closet along with those wedges that I got from the thrift store and decided to put my hair up with a fun little headband and I thought that this would be a perfect outfit to wear out to the mall or if my husband wanted to get coffee really quick. I also wanted to show you this same outfit but with sneakers. This can go from little date with your husband to playing in the park with your children. All right, next up y'all, I am putting on those black slacks. I really like the way that these slacks just snugly fit around my waist because it's holding everything in. After having children, we women, we like those sorts of things. And I also paired it with this pink button up top and those pink shoes that I also got from the thrift store. Now, I'm switching it up on y'all because I was like, sometimes we need to have a business outfit. Even with being a stay-at-home mom and wife, we never know when we need to be in some kind of business environment and need to rock it out. So I decided to pair it with a blazer I already had in my closet as well as some cute, colorful pumps and this necklace. I really love the way that it makes me feel. I feel like a girl boss. Get it? All right, keeping with that same black and pink theme, I decided to put this button up top with my black shorts that I already had in my drawer. And I put those same colorful wedges with it. And I thought this would be a cute little summer outfit that I could wear out on a day where we're at the mall or walking outside. It was cute. Next up is this skirt, y'all. Honey, I was loving it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love how it accentuates my curves and I love how it's just enough of a split to where it's not overwhelming. I put it with these shoes that I had in my closet, these black and white mules, and a racer back top that I had in my closet as well. I can see myself going out with my husband or a girl's date. Now, that jacket, I had to just throw this little winter fall outfit in here. I know it's spring and it'll be summer soon, but I really thought that this jacket was so cute with that same skirt. And I just put on some metallic black tights along with my boots and a necklace. And I just thought that this would be a lovely outfit to wear if I had to go somewhere that was semi formal what do you guys think? Lastly, I just wanted to switch it up really quick because I was like, well, I could possibly wear this during the springtime. If I was going out at night for a dinner date, I could just add these shoes that are too cute that were already in my closet. I added these black shorts and a belt. And I thought that this came together quite nicely. The jacket will keep me warm during those spring breezes. Just having a little fun here. All right, you all, so today has been a day full of fashion, for me at least. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe you got inspired to do a first haul, see what you can find, and also shop your closet. One thing we have to remember, just because we're stay-at-home moms or stay-at-home wives, does not mean that we cannot enjoy fashion. A lot of those items that I tried on today would be things that I would wear around the house. I try to be intentional about getting myself fully dressed so that I feel good for the day. I feel more productive. I feel ready to work because when I used to work in the private sector in the public school system, I had to get dressed every single work day. And so I look at my homemaking as a work day. 
I have certain things that I have to accomplish every single day in order to keep my house running smoothly. So if we treat it as such, then we are okay with putting on some clothes and a little bit of makeup to brighten up our faces. If you don't wear makeup, cool, because I don't always wear makeup. It's very rare that I do on special occasions. But anyway, you guys, I hope that you can see how you are able to put really nice and good quality clothes together just by thrifting. I know some people, they would rather not wear secondhand clothes, but I grew up wearing secondhand clothes because I had an older sister. <laughs> so for me, this is not a big deal. For others, it may be. But for those of us that are frugal and that we really like to save money and where maybe brands aren't a big deal for us, we can shop the thrift store. Although, you guys, I have found some really high-end brands at the thrift store. I actually found a Kate Spade jacket. It was like $19, I think, for that thing. It looked like it was more once. Once. So, don't knock the thrift stores. You guys, thank you so much for staying until the end. I ask that you would hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share, let people know what we are doing over here. And I ask that you would also leave a comment. Let me know if there's something that you would like to see. Let me know some tips and tricks that you use in order to save a book on your clothing. You guys, thank you. Bye.